Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of How To With London Youth Rowing. I'm one of the coaches here, Tom, and this week we're talking about strength training and how to get the most out of it. We're joined by Imogen Grant. Over to you, Imogen. Hi, my name's Imogen Grant. I'm a lightweight rower with the GB rowing team, and I'm here to talk to you today about the importance of weights. Last year, with my doubles partner, Emily Craig, we qualified the lightweight women's double for the Tokyo Olympics and won a bronze medal at the 2019 World Championships. Why is weight so important? There's lots of different reasons, and I'm going to split the reasons that I've thought of into three different levels, basic, intermediate, and advanced. As a lightweight rower, weights is really important for me because I want to be getting stronger, I want to be getting muscle, and as a lightweight, power to weight is the most important thing that we have. So the more muscle that I can have and use effectively, the better I'm going to be when I race. And power to weight and strength and using that muscle mass to the best of your abilities is the way that you can be the best lightweight rower. In my program, I train weights three or four times a week. Those sessions are different through the whole week and they repeat week on week. We often have blocks of six or eight weeks of the same program. Some of them have a lower body, body focus, some of them have an upper body focus. Most of them are mixed, but the exercises that I do each day are slightly different, which allows my body to recover for the next week when I do those exercises again. We often have blocks of six or eight weeks of the same program, building up to some testing, a five rep max, an eight rep max, a one rep max, to see how we progress with our weights, the basics. I think the two most basic fundamental things about weights is that you can get stronger and that you can build muscle. As a lightweight rower, both of those things are really important to me because I want to use every single kilogram to my advantage when I'm racing. In building muscle, you use hypertrophy, so lots of reps, increasing the weight, and that can help you build some really good functional muscle mass, which is going to make you better at rowing because you have more muscle, which means that you're going to be able to push harder and push harder for longer as well. So, the basics, the foundation of weights, getting stronger and building muscle. If you're really excited about doing those things, then maybe you can think about the intermediate important things of doing weights. Moving on to the intermediate reasons. These are slightly more complicated than the basic reasons of getting stronger and building your muscle mass, but I think they're equally important and can really take your rowing to the next level. The two intermediate things that I've thought of are injury resistance and specific movements. So by using weights, you can make your body more robust so you're less likely to get injured on the water. Rowing is a very unforgiving sport. It hurts your back, it hurts your legs, it hurts your hips. It's really a full body exercise and you can use weights to make your body less prone to injury while you're doing those actions. One of the ways that you can do that is by using specific movements and weights that transfer over to the rowing stroke. So for example, we do a lot of squatting to make sure the posterior chain is really strong but also upper body and strength and robustness exercises to make sure that the ribs and the back are strong enough to take the load that we're then putting out with our legs. The advanced tier of reasons that I think weights is really important and what you can gain from weights is fine tuning those parts of rowing that you can't do necessarily on the water day in day out. For me, I want to be able to target some asymmetries that I have in my body, so muscle imbalances, and the weight room is a really good place to start with that. As a sculler, I want to be as symmetrical as possible so that I can pull through and use all of my strength in the rowing stroke. And using the weight room exercises to help with that is really useful to me. I also want to be able to develop my power in the weight room. Moving off a start in a double or any boat really, you need to put down lots and lots of power and that peak force in the first 10, 15 strokes of the race is much, much higher than the rest of it and the weight room is a really good place to train that. Finally, you can use weights to target any specific weaknesses or robustness or injury issues that you have. To make your body more robust and more able to deal with the challenges of rowing the whole time. Some really great ideas there on how to get into strength training and also how to get the most out of your strength training in the different levels available to you. So thank you so much for that Imogen. I hope everyone found that interesting and useful today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next week.